It may have been a little controversial and it was sweaty, but we managed to cash the dog of the night for UFC Mexico as Jesus Aguilar comes out there and defeats Matias Mendonca on the scorecards by split decision. He cashes for us at plus 120, but we had some issues on the regional scene with our dog of the night predictions, and that now falls to 6 and 11 for minus 2.21 units at minus 13% ROI for 2024. Again, we're only in February. We got to get this thing back on the track and get back into the black and then into the green. And I feel like we can do that once again this weekend as we have obviously the UFC card that goes down as well as Octagon 54, I believe it is, or 56. One of those two numbers, 54 it is, uh, which I'll be breaking down uh, in video format for the YouTube folks so make sure you guys stay tuned for that later this week but we got two dog of the night uh dog of the nights between those two events coming at you guys but this video is obviously for the top three dog of the night candidates that i have for you guys so if you guys are looking to figure out which one i actually went with as the official dog of the night prediction make sure you guys check out the mma lock of the night patreon page link for that is in the description below all right Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. First one up is, I believe, going to be from the first fight of the night between Loik Redzabov, who comes in at plus 135. He's uh, going up against Abdul Karim Al Sawadi, who just recently earned his contract to the Contender Series by pulling off a big upset of his own over George Hardwick. But I think that Radzabov is a little bit cleaner of a fighter and has more paths to victory in the spot. Uh, from the performance that we saw from Al Sawadi last time around, that is not the way he normally fights. He chose to fight that way due to the stylistic matchup he had ahead of him but that's going to be harder to pull off against guys that are going to be able to mix it up a little bit more than what George Hardwick was able to do I think that we'll see Loic Radzibov be the cleaner striker of the two with his one twos down the pipe but I think he'll also be the cleaner wrestler of the two which should allow him to go out there and get some decent uh, positions control time and make it look optic awkwardly good for the uh for the judges here as well both guys have a little bit of a cardio issue especially when they're in high octane fights and that could end up being the case here but i think that we'll see radzabov do enough in the first two rounds to get his hand raised on the judges scorecards the next dog of the night candidate i have for you guys is actually going to be a total between matt schnell and steve ersig the under one and a half at plus 100 now we know matt schnell has a horrible durability issue amongst him which is why he's been losing his fights in recent years i think steve ersig could be the cleaner striker with the shots down the pipe his accuracy and his ability to stalk his opponents until he's able to hurt them or push them up against a cage or drag them to the ground this guy is a bjj black belt but he has a national level championship if i'm not mistaken mistaken on the Muay Thai scene down there in Australia but I think that his clean striking will be able to find the chin of Schnell and it could end up being early I think the underdog price here is not that bad to see uh, Steve Ersig go out there and get the finish his inside the distance not line is minus 155 so he is favored to finish this inside the distance do I think it happens in the first seven and a half minutes probably which is why that is the second dog of the night candidate I have for you guys. The third and final dog of the night candidate is going to be in the form of Alex Perez, who comes in at plus 290. Now, if you guys listened to the podcast that I dropped yesterday, which was the full card breakdown, you guys know that I did pick Mohayev to win the fight, but the line is a little bit wide here. Perez is a legitimate veteran who has faced much tougher competition than, than Mokhaev to this date. Also, Mohaev, although he's been win, been winning and still undefeated at this point in his career, is a guy that has kind of struggled to really make himself look like this phenom that a lot of people expected him to be. We saw him have a tough time against Jafel Filio. We saw him of, like two minutes away from suffering his first loss to Tim Elliott last time around. And Alex Perez is a guy that's you know, has a lot of question marks on him. He's a big wild card coming into this fight. Obviously, we know a lot about his, uh, you know, pullouts and weight issues and all that type of stuff but a pissed off and angry version of Alex Perez looking to go out there and prove people wrong is a dangerous Alex Perez and Mohaev might have to be the guy on the back end of this for Perez to kind of start that redemption arc in his career he's still only 31 years old he was a very talented wrestler so this fight could likely be competitive in the grappling realm and then in the striking realm Mohaev only is a flashy striker more than anything whereas Perez has some good nuts and bolts he has a good calf kick that he can employ as well and a plus 290 might not be a bad dog of the night candidate on a card full of chalky favorites so alex perez will be the third and final dog of the night candidate i have for you guys which of the three did i go with 
check the lock of the night patreon page to see which one it is those guys already know but let me know which underdogs you guys are considering by dropping a comment below and let's see if there's any other underdogs that i may have missed that we can uncover and potentially cash on for this weekend all right i will be back tomorrow for the quick picks version of the full card breakdown not to mention the free parlay slash locky two step slash locky trinity which has already been released on the patreon page as well all right i will see you guys then peace